drop a like and sub in the next five seconds and this will be your Fortnite account. If you don't, this will be your account. Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4 is almost here, releasing it just one more month and we've gotten a new look at the next season from all of the upcoming Battle Pass skins, brand new mythic items and even all of the upcoming map changes. So trust me, you want to make sure you are staying tuned to the very end of this video as we're going to be going over everything arriving inside of Season 4 here in today's video. Quickly, we do get 5 new and all subscribers every single day inside of the brand new item shop. So if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift, all you have to do is drop a like on this video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. And drop a comment down below with your Epic Games ID. And if you happen to be picking up anything inside of the item shop for yourself, do consider using my support creator code YTRA as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. Next season of Fortnite is actually set to see the return of the last reality who we haven't actually seen in quite a while now. Makes sense as season 4 is going to be one of the last seasons we do get here in chapter 4, meaning we're going to be seeing a live event at the very end of next season. It's definitely something to look forward to consider we haven't seen a live event at all in chapter 4 and it looks like we're not going to be seeing one until November 28th. It obviously will result in us getting a brand new island when we move into Fortnite chapter 5, which is set to release on November 30th. When it comes to the theme of next season, it is set to be very similar to what we did see in Chapter 2 Season 8 when we obviously had the last reality invading the island with the cubes. It does look like the cubes are going to be a massive part of the next season of Fortnite, considering we have tons of clues about them already here in Season 3. Just before we get any further, if you guys haven't already, be sure to drop me a follow over on Instagram as I will be doing some Vivo code giveaways over on my stories. The link to that is down below, so be sure you are following and keep an eye out on my posts as I could be posting some Vivo codes very, very soon. Jumping into the next season's Battle Pass, we do have tons of pretty insane leaks when it does come to all of the skins. The very first skin actually being this character right here who is actually going to be called the archaeologist just by looking at this character you definitely can see that there's a lot of small little easter eggs as she is clearly holding a gold cube which may even hint that she is actually an early version of the cube queen before she became the cube queen which definitely would make sense considering we've obviously already had the ageless inside of the chapter 4 season 1 battle pass who we do know is an early version of jenna we did see the main version of jenna in the marvel zero world comic book with obviously this black and gold looking armor. Maybe that was the whole point of chapter 4 to kind of give us an origin story for how all of these different factions and obviously these different big main characters obviously came to be. But by looking at this skin space, it definitely does look very familiar to the Cube Queen who obviously we did have as a secret skin in chapter 2 season 8. Seeing as how everything relating to the brand new biome on the island right now is actually directly linked to the cubes as well, it is looking like we're getting a bit of an origin story for the cubes too. So that's definitely pretty interesting, could even lead to a massive live event at the very end of season 4 with the last reality obviously destroying the island yet again which then would lead to us to obviously getting a brand new Fortnite island when we move into chapter 5. That's not all as it looks like we're also going to be seeing another member of the 7 arriving inside of the new battle pass as well which is actually going to have a bit of a twist to it. We do know that the 7 were obviously kidnapped at the very start of chapter 3 season 4 as they were consumed by the crone. Thanks to some quests we had in chapter 4 season 1, Amy did say that the 7 are still out there but they are different this time. Which is actually leading to us getting a brand new 7 outfit which is going to actually be working for the last reality who is actually going to be called the general. Looks like he's actually either going to be the foundation or potentially even the scientist considering they definitely have similar body types. Here's a bunch of different edit styles that you can see for this brand new skin which I have to say definitely looks super sick but the very last one obviously being fully maxed out. And if you do even take a look at the hands of the final edit style, you can actually see what looks to be a chrome harvesting tool, which obviously would be fitting perfectly considering they were consumed by it. Do you know that the cubes and obviously the chrome were all directly a part of the last reality? So how did this image as well, which actually does show us a handful of different logos, seven of them in total, which could even point to us seeing other members of the seven over the course of the next chapter. Obviously getting this corrupted different treatment, which I honestly think would look super sick, as I'm really excited to see what the origin looks like when he's fully corrupted. Be sure to leave your opinions on that down in the comments, as I definitely think this skin is definitely going to be super sick. Next up, it also looks like we're going to be seeing the return of Agent Jones as well, in the form of a brand new skin inside of next season's Battle Pass. If you do know he did not get turned into Chrome at all over Chapter 3, and it looks like he's going to be getting his very own 7 outfit. He's been helping out the 7 for quite a while now, and it's obviously about time that he gets his very own armor, and will officially be going by the name The Legend as he obviously teased this during the Collision Live event. 
just like all of the previous members of the seven we've had in the game already. Definitely can't expect to see him get different colored edit styles for his suit and also different visor options. I'm really excited to see this in game as I'm obviously a big fan of Agent Jones and I think everybody loves it when he shows up in the Fortnite storyline. Obviously, each and every single battle pass cannot be complete without some sort of collaboration skin and it looks like we're also going to be seeing the arrival of Ahsoka from the brand new Ahsoka TV show that will be releasing over on Disney Plus next month. The release date for that show itself is actually going to be on the 23rd of August and thanks to the battle pass menu we can actually see that next season does actually start on August 25th. Which is perfect timing for this collaboration to obviously take place with Ahsoka obviously being inside of next season's battle pass with tons of other cosmetics and also the addition of a brand new mythic lightsaber which is going to be very different compared to the ones we've seen in the game already. Her main lightsaber is actually a dual wielded one where she will have one small lightsaber in each hand and it's actually a white lightsaber this time. So I am really curious how exactly this will work in game considering obviously the only lightsabers we've had in the game are the ones that we've actually had ever since born in chapter 2. Who knows we may even see some force abilities linked to this as well considering we obviously had the arrival of force abilities with the last made a fourth event that we recently had with the prequel trilogy. We'll just have to wait and see exactly what happens with this but you definitely can't expect to see Ahsoka show up inside of the Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4 Battle Pass. It looks like there's also going to be another collaboration skin inside of next season which we also will be getting into shortly. First up it looks like we're also going to be seeing the arrival of another last reality character which is actually said to be this gold character as you can see right here up on screen. Most likely will be linked into the storyline somehow as well considering she's obviously gold and it definitely does look like a character from the last reality. She is also said to be a brand new boss that we will be able to find on the next season's Fortnite Island which is definitely pretty cool considering that will mean she will have another brand new mythic item. We still have yet to see but the chances are it's going to be super overpowered and this boss most likely will be pretty hard to take down. The skin definitely does look pretty cool nonetheless and I can't wait to get my hands on it when we do move into the new season of Fortnite. When it comes to the final collaboration skin we're going to be seeing inside of the next season as it looks like we're finally going to be seeing the arrival of Peter Griffin. We've actually had leaks over the past few years now that we're going to be seeing a Family Guy collab and most recently Epic actually leaked this themselves. Overall I'm really curious to how a Peter Griffin skin is actually going to fit in the game considering the skin is going to be pretty big. You know, know some of the other cosmetics that will be a part of it is actually going to be a Stewie Griffin back bling which I definitely think would be pretty funny to use in game. Along with a bird is the word emo, which obviously is pretty fitting considering that is directly from the Family Guy show. Definitely some solid collaborations inside of the next season's Battle Pass, which I'm honestly really excited about considering I haven't really been a fan of any of the Battle Passes we've got over Chapter 4 already. Overall, I'm really excited to see what happens when it does come to the Fortnite storyline moving into the next season. One of the biggest map changes that we are set to see inside of Season 4 is actually going to be the arrival of the Cradle, which was last seen during Chapter 2 Season 8's live end event. It looks like this Cradle will actually be right next to the entire Fortnite Island for the entirety of the next season. Which is definitely going to be pretty cool as it's going to be very similar to what we did see when we had the Mothership above the island during Chapter 2 Season 7. More or less, the whole of next season is looking to be some sort of invasion from the last reality. But unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. And if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments along with your Epic Games ID. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and thanks for watching.